Good afternoon, welcome to the Inspiring Inkin Facebook page. I'm Amanda Fowler. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Tuesday the 10th of August 2021. Welcome if you're watching this on the replay. Please be aware you won't be able to see the comments that I'm referring to but I do try and read them out so you can kind of join in with the chatter as well. So whether you're watching live or the replay let me know where you are joining me from. Um, I love to, to hear where you are and and in our very British way, tell me what the weather's doing. <laughs> we love the weather, so tell me what the weather's doing. And let me know what you are up to today. I am going to check on my iPad, make sure I'm live, in the right place, or where I should be. And um, let me just um, say that this morning on my team's lives, I was having to... Tef, tef, uh, I can't speak. Technical difficulties. And I will explain about those in a minute. So I would really appreciate it actually if you can let me know if you can see me, you can hear me, is it bright enough? All those things. And it is just, yeah, it looks like, looks like I'm live. And the messages are coming through. Interesting. Okay, so sunny here in Hampshire, warm, 22 degrees. I've got my shorts on. <laughs> Long sleeve top, but I've got my shorts on. Um, so yeah, it's nice and warm. Um, technical difficulties. Oh, why does technology have to be difficult? So I use an adapter to plug my ethernet cable, which goes to my router, into my computer. It is this. It is broken. Um, it's, <laughs> it's been intermittent for a little while. Um, and it was basically the USBs weren't connecting, but the Wi-Fi or the, the internet was fine. It's not fine anymore. So I am back on Wi-Fi, which as those of you that have been hanging out with me for 18 months now here live on Facebook, you will know that that is fraught with danger <laughs> because sometimes it just goes all all silly. So if you have problems with my live stream, with a couple of options for you, go out of Facebook and come back in again. That can often help. Um, refresh the page. If you're on a tablet, you can kind of um, drag the, the screen down. Or if you're watching on a computer, press the, the little curly arrow to make it refresh the page. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that will work. I will keep an eye on the, uh, they're called stream metrics, all the things you didn't know that you needed to know about crafting with Amanda. Um, and they have like little wiggly lines and I keep an eye on those. And so long as they don't go crashing down and into the red, we're usually okay. So they're looking okay at the moment so that is good i have my coffee i've got indigestion because i scoffed my lunch down today um because i was in the middle of a call so <clears throat> everything ended up all a bit rushed i've got some interesting things to show you today um and some fun things to show you so let's let's have a look and see um, what everyone's saying, and I'm going to polish my glasses, oh, so that I can actually see those comments. Let's have a look. So, Janet's here, Lynn's here, Anne's here, Deborah, Margaret, Michelle, Jen, Scylla, Roz. So, lots of hellos from everybody. 
Um, Suffolk, Anne says it's sunny and warm. Janet saying weather's beautiful today. It's fairly sunny in Stafford. That's where Jen is. <clears throat> Hello again, Laura. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Noelle. She's from Victoria in Canada. What's the weather like in Canada today? And mum's here. Hello, mum. Pauline to everybody else. <laughs> it's so impossible. I can't say Pauline's here because it's mum. It is not so good. Hello, Anita. Good to see you. Good to see you today. Um, <clears throat> right. Slurp my coffee. Now, I do have um, an important, important announcement. Over the next six weeks or so, so where are we now? Beginning of August through to kind of the middle of September, um, Brian and I are going to be adventuring, which means some of the time we'll be here, some of the time we won't be here, some of the time we'll be working, some of the time we won't be working. So things will not be quite the same as you've been used to for the past 18 months. But what isn't going to change is two o'clock on a Tuesday here on my Facebook page, and it will go live on YouTube at the same time. There will be something for you to watch. So next week for certain, there will be a video. Um, but over the coming weeks, sometimes I will actually be live and sometimes I won't be. Um, once we then get back into the autumn, things will settle down a bit and we'll go back to our normal routine. Um, <clears throat> but I know a lot of you are kind of going away and doing other stuff and we've got visits plans and visitors coming and so on. So don't be surprised if you arrive and I'm not live, but there will be some crafting for you to see. So don't, don't not come. <laughs> because I'll be sad um, and obviously I will um, re return the comments and things as soon as I can and the same if you email me or message me there will be like an out of office on um, so you know and it will always say when I'll when I'll be able to start responding again to comments so so just so you know I don't want you to think I'm abandoning you I am not it's just adventures, which is very exciting. So when I've had adventures, I will tell you about my adventures. Does that make sense, doesn't it? Oh, it's only six o'clock in Canada. That's dedication to your crafting, to Noelle to be, be here at, at 6 a.m. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hi, Jane, how are you? How's, how's life up there? Okay, so what else do I have to tell you? So I've told you about adventuring. Um, we didn't do very much at the weekend. I'm trying to think, what did we do at the weekend? I worked most of Saturday. That's, that's what happened. That's why I don't have much to tell you. And it rained a lot. There was a lot of rain going on at the weekend. Um, but we did actually get some gardening done. Five green bags worth. So here in the UK, well, in Hampshire, in the UK, we have these green sacks that are about, I don't know, three foot, three foot square and about two foot tall. And our bin men collect that every other week. Well, with the gardens that we've got, we've got front garden and back garden, and you know, the fact that we have to cut the grass three times a week at the moment, that isn't enough. So we do a tip run every, I don't know, every three or four weeks. And we had five of those bags full. <laughs> five. Crackers. Um, but you know, all the lavender needed had been pruned and the wisteria has been pruned um so yeah so we're 
we've been busy. There was a lot of gardening going on. Um, so yeah, so that's good. <laughs> Roz is saying, enjoy, enjoy my adventures. I will. It will be good. It will be good. We haven't had many adventures in the past 18 months, so I am very excited. Um, so what do I have to show you today? So those of you that did the craft along with me in July, we made this, da, 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 we made this waterfall card. And I said that I had been inspired to make it by a card that Lynn sent to me, but I'd put it somewhere safe and I couldn't show it on the day. So here it is. And look. Da, da, da. Lovely beach themed. Let me just give it a wiggle. And I don't know that you can you can see on screen, but she stamped it on shimmery white cardstock and put um wink of stella on it or it could be shimmer paint one or the other really really beautiful so thank you lynn um for the inspiration and the reminding because do you know that's the thing with crafting particularly when you've been doing crafting for some time you forget <laughs> you make things and you love making them for ages and ages and then you forget you don't make those anymore you move on to something else so i always keep um samples so i have several boxes full of samples so i would always recommend that you do that write down the instructions keep a sample and then um that will really um help you when you when inspiration isn't striking because it happens to all of us um, so I've got two more cards, two thank you cards. Um, this is from the lovely Sally and this is gold embossed. Camera's struggling there to, to zoom in on it. Let me just bring it in, see if you can see that. Really cool. Um, very pretty. And then there is a, this one. And this is also from Sally. I don't know what I've been doing <laughs> to, to get all these thank you cards. Bless her. There we go. That's really cool, isn't it? So there you go. So I'm going to put those on my shelf in a minute. So there you go. Oh, brilliant. Sue gave her waterfall card that she made from Craft Along as a birthday card last Friday, and it was really well received. That's so lovely, isn't it? Do you know, because we make the cards and we really want people to really like them. Faye's just arrived. Don't worry about being late, Faye. You are here at the time that, that you needed to be here. And Jenny's arrived 11.15 in Australia. PM. <laughs> yeah, PM. Hello, Marion. Thank you for joining us today. So today I've got a couple of paper, I'm going to call them papers, they're kind of papers to show you. And they're both in the annual catalogue. I've got a stamp set and a die set to show you. But they're the sorts of things that I think you might have missed. So a little bit like the pastels that I showed you two or three weeks ago, they're, they're the things that get hidden in the catalogue that you might not notice. Because what do we always notice? We always notice the dyes and the stamps and the colours, but actually we don't always notice the little, little things. So I'm going to show you two of those today and a stamp and a die set, which I think you're going to love. No Christmas, no Christmas today. Um, thought we'd have a little break from Christmas because <laughs> we're going to be doing Christmas a lot. Because you know, not only do I love blue cards 
and blue everything i've only got one blue card to show you today um but i love christmas almost as much so any excuse to do a lot of christmas hi karen brilliant thanks for joining us too okay so i'm guessing that we're all good with the lighting and everything else i am absolutely aware that i'm going to turn the camera around and everything is going to go crazy again so um so yeah so marion said she missed the music embossing folder yep that's in the autumn winter catalog and here's here's a little trick for you at the back of the autumn winter catalog page 72 there is catalog at a glance so you've got all the stamp sets all the dies and the punches all the embossing folders so the merry melody that's the one that marion's just talking about the merry melody 3d embossing folder if you've got anyone with musical interests that is perfect and the papers but the ribbons and the boxes and the papers and the embellishments and stuff so it is really well worth looking there um but i'm going to show you what we need to look at in the annual catalog as well so let's have a look jenny says she's waiting for the spinner bundle with the little astronaut that's really cool joanne's made it oh she's taken maddie so is is maddie a cat or a dog joanne she's got the cone of shame on oh that's just i just feel so sorry for our pets when they've got the that cone on it's just so sad but it stops them biting at their stitches or nibbling at stuff that they shouldn't be nibbling at but it just makes them so sad oh well i hope maddie gets better soon right so i'm just looking at my desk do you know what i'm actually going to take the camera out and i'm going to show you my desk because because you need to see how bad it is okay so you might go a bit wibbly as i take you out but look at this <laughs> so i've got basket i've got papers all that mess all that mess so there you go so that is how bad my desk is today so i'm gonna so you can imagine that now okay so you can imagine it always scattered all over here <laughs> whilst i turn you around hang on let me cover you over i'll turn you around and then you'll you'll be amazed that i'll be able to find everything i won't look this is nowhere near where that needs to be right so let's move this back a little bit is that better we go i'm hoping let me move my coffee so we all know what happens all right i just need to straighten that there we go i think i think we're all good ish okay right so let's have a look oh so joanne is a greyhound good evening donna thanks for joining us 
<laughs> Valerie says that's her desk every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rubbish today. But there we go. So I'm going to move the baskets onto the floor, which will help my world. Gather the catalogue and show you these things that I need to show you. Da -da -da. So if you've got an annual catalogue. So last week I mentioned these papers, didn't I? The rose gold and gold metallic specialty paper. The first thing I'm going to show you is this one which is on page 135 and it's called ombre specialty paper and it comes as a 12 by 12 let me bring it down so you can actually see so you get four sheets you get a poppy parade mango melody night of navy and gorgeous grape and i'll show you all of them but it's ombre light through to really dark so these so the it's 925 and so these are the these are the colors and they're just so cool and i want to say that they're glitter paper but not glitter as we know it so glitter paper often sheds and it it comes off but this is it i don't know how to describe it it's kind of like it's in a a resin almost and it doesn't shed at all it's quite thick it's you know it, it's got weight to it it die cuts beautifully and one of the best things for me about this paper is that you can stick stuff to it which sounds crackers doesn't it but normally with glitter paper nothing sticks because all that happens is you lift up the glitter it's just so cool so i have a card using the stamps and dies in a minute using this paper so i will show you that in a minute and then the other thing that i want to show you is on and this is what i'm going to be using today is page 136 and it's called linen 12 by 12 specialty paper five pound fifty comes like this and you get two sheets and the thing that i missed when i first ordered this is this word here two adhesive sheets so it's two adhesive sheets so this is this is what it looks like and if i bring it up to the camera i'm hoping that it's actually going to be able to pick up the linen effect but look it's a sticker sheet this is super sticky and it's like linen <laughs> funny that but it is like fabric and you're gonna see when um when i've die cut it you do have to kind of take care with it because you can actually pull a thread and you'll actually pull it all the way through the paper it's just weird but very cool and you can color this in so many different ways you can use it in so many different ways you are gonna love it so mum's saying that this paper this christmas christmas paper it's not christmas paper it's glitter paper the technical term for it is encapsulated the glitter is encapsulated that's a very long word basically it just doesn't it doesn't shed we like that okay so linen paper it is awesome 
So before I start crafting, just to remind you, this is going on. Celebration is going on. I've already had one person join my team. I would love it if more of you decide to join my team. Best deal ever at the moment. You can also earn free goodies when you spend £45. So please, please, when you're placing your order, check. Because if you place an order that's like £40, add a reel of ribbon or a pack of paper or some envelopes on it and get your freebie. And if it's £85 your order, again, bump it up to 90 to get another freebie because you'll get two. So it's for every £45. And there are these things. So this uh, Delicate Dahlias, um, that's a £90 spend. And the dies as well, those dies are a £90 spend. So um, if you want those, then you need to place £90 order. So this goes on till the end of September. So don't miss out. Okay. So, let's get my linen paper and oh, the stamp set and the dies I want to show you. Now, this is a stamp set in the annual catalogue. Um, it's called Quiet Meadow and it's got some splats in it and it's got some text and a couple of flowers and some nice sentiments and then there is a die set that goes with it and there are 13 dies and these dies are amazing so let me just show you these dies So you've got five different flower and sort of botanical kind of dyes. You've got this sort of tag label sentiment die and a little tiny tag. You've got a full but butterfly, a part butterfly, and then these three little things, which will make butterfly bodies, but also work on top of the flowers as well to make lovely flowers. So beautiful die set. If you're looking for some dies, um, just to add a little bit of dimension to your cards, this is really, really lovely. And you'll be able to see um, I've used them in several different ways. Oh, that's a really good tip, Lynn. Lynn said, remember with celebration, the £45 is before postage, before shipping. So obviously you're going to pay shipping on top of that. So make sure it goes over £45 before shipping. Okay, we've just had a little minor glitch. Are you still there? Give me a thumbs up if you're still okay. The stream metrics went into the red. Judy's arrived. She's trying to get back into normal life. Oh, good. Thank you for all the thumbs up. <laughs> you are awesome. Okay. So the first card that I'm going to show you is using the awesome ombre paper. Um, and you can see here that um, the linen flower, that's so I've cut that out of linen. Um, and I've cut that out of cardstock. And this is all sticking to this ombre paper. So normally, like I said, normally you would never get this to stick, but it is sticking, so that's really cool. So I'm going to be making a variation of this card, different colours, 
and not with ombre so not the same at all really <laughs> well it is kind of so the happy birthday is from party puffins Valerie's suggesting cutting them in black and you make a great silhouette card on the ombre background absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah so it's it's navy it's not black but yes absolutely Val <laughs> you did you read my mind that's a scary thing to do right so I've got a million stamps Not quite, but a few. Let's have a look. I've got blending brushes. I've got markers. All sorts of things. And I, so this is pale papaya and I've cut evening evergreen. I've cut a frame. And that is from one of my favourite die sets. And you guys, um, lots of you, I know have this because something I focused on right at the very beginning of this catalogue launch. Scalloped contours dies. They are awesome. So this one's got a scallop and like a little dot around the edge. And for the second card today, I'm going to use this one. So that is cool. And then... So I've cut a couple of these out so I can actually stamp the sentiment. More stamps, more pretty sparkly bits, and then die cut linen flowers. And I want my grid paper. So, with these flowers, you can colour them in lots of different ways. So you can use a sponge dauber or your blending brush and just gently go over the top and you can see that you are beginning to colour that. Um, linen paper obviously the more you go over this the stronger the color will be if you use a marker you will get a lot more depth of color so i'm actually going to go over that with the marker i might go over with the blending brush again as well in a minute you'll get a lot stronger color you can also use a spritzer that works really well with a few drops of ink in or your blends all of those work so I'm actually going to go back over with this blending brush just um, to add a bit more color and then guess who's got green ink on her flower okay so, wet wipe, to lift off that colour, and then I'll go back over it again in a minute. Okay, so we're just going to <laughs> colour this gently. And you can just see now I've got just a light bit of colour. I will go back over that when it's dried a little bit. I'm going to do a tiny bit here on this flower. And then... A little bit here now obviously you can just leave this it's natural color you don't have to add things to it let's 
Let's just go over this now. Convince it that it wants to be pale papaya, <laughs> not evening evergreen. There we go. I'll make that a little bit darker as well. Now this is making a super background as well. So if you actually did this on a piece of um, basic white card, that would work really well as well. Okay, so I need to bring my happy birthday. I'm going to stamp that on there. Such a beautiful happy birthday stamp. And then this one, I'm going to add in some of these flowers. Now these are, oh, I want to call them elegant gems. I don't think they are, hang on. What are they called? What are they called? genial gems so actually i think we want the smaller sizes yeah so I'll pop that there and that one there okay So I am going to use this one as a sticker, but because it's too long, to go on here, I'm just going to snip a little bit off. And I'm going to lift off the sticker sheet. And now this is a bit delicate because obviously I've been... Um, adding <laughs> additional wet white stuff so let's just kind of lay it down gently so because this is kind of like fabric you want it to lay where it wants to go don't kind of force it because you'll stretch it so just let it just kind of lay down where it wants to go and then this one I'm actually going to leave it on its backing because that will give it body and it means then that I can lift it, 3D it as it were. So I'm going to put some teeny foam pads on the back of these flowers. And we'll just, just snip that. So that's just going to go there. Ooh. And then what I'm going to do is this stem part, I'm going to pull the backing off and snip it part way up the leaves, so sort of there. So what that's doing ooh, is it's giving me an adhesive bottom part of the stem but allowing me to have this additional layer. Ooh, it's kind of 3D layer here. So I just want that to go up a little bit. There we go. There. Ooh, stick. And then we're going to put this over the top. I had 
some more foam pads. That's going to go over the top like so. Yeah, my little flower. Put that on the inside. Now, the back that I took off one of those flowers keep that it's shiny because obviously it's like an it's for the adhesive backing you can use that as a template or a mask if you want to do spritzing um, if you turn it over the paper side of it will take color There you go okay so the adhesive side won't because it's slidey slippy but the paper side will okay so you end up with two for one and i'm looking for my glue this in I'm just going to pop this down and then that card will be done and there is still a mountain of chaos on my desk move that out of the way So there is a lovely Quiet Meadow card. Just kind of move some of the <laughs> rubbish away. And this is it's obviously the, the first one that I showed you with the similar. So again, very similar layout, obviously, just two flowers and your sentiment. But this has obviously got the, the ombre and the square edges. This has got the scalloped edges. But I think that this is this is something to always think about when you're making cards. Is, you know, can you make two or three or four that are similar? That perhaps use the same colours or the same layout? Because once you've got everything out, it's much quicker to make a second card than it is to put everything away and then start a new card. So that's two. So I have another card that I'm going to make. Now this is this <laughs> this is going to be a bit more grungy, a bit more abstract. Um, but there are several hints and tips I wanted to share with you. So the first, the first thing, let me just score this. So the first thing is I die cut this linen paper. Now, it hasn't cut all the way through. So can you see just just like there there's like a thread hanging now if you yank it which 
you know, let's be honest, <laughs> quite a few of us would do that. If you yank it, it will tear and it will go raggy on the edges. So what you just need to do is you just need to snip those threads that are hanging, sort of keeping it in. So the same here. And the same here. Don't be tempted to pull on it. So, and the reason that I'm saying this, the reason that I share these hints and tips with you is I do these things so that you know what's going to happen. So, can you see in there, that's doing the same thing. It's not quite releasing. And if I pull on it, it pulls it out of shape and all sorts. So, the hints and tips I've got for you is run, run this through your die cutting machine twice if you've got something that's intricate. Okay, and that's what I would say this is. This is a, these little pieces are fairly intricate. Um, and run it through twice if it's still not cutting cleanly you can run it through again just leave the die in place and just run it through again or just add a piece a sheet of copier paper printer paper something like that so that it gives it just a tiny bit extra um pressure Every single die cutting machine is different. And, you know, all of them occasionally need an extra bit of help. So, right, this is just going to take me a minute because I think what happened, <laughs> what I did was... I didn't position it on the die cut plate properly. So, yeah, lots of people saying, yeah, they would just yank it. Yeah, don't do that. And I know this is a little bit fiddly, but it's because had I realised that these pieces hadn't quite cut through properly, I would have run it through again. So, there we go. Okay, two more to go and then we're done. Do, do, do. Okay, so the super cool thing about this linen paper, firstly, as you know, I've already told you this, you can colour it, but you can stamp on it as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start out doing. So I've got the word stamp. Now, just if you buy this um, stamp set, just be aware... So there's the, the words are at the top. The words do actually have, it does actually make sense. So make sure you stamp it the right way up. Because if you don't, it's going to really annoy you. <laughs> okay. It will really annoy me if the words aren't quite right. So basically what I am doing is I am making what's called a collage background. So I am using several of the stamps. So I've got, so I've used the text stamp, I've used this flower, 
I'm now going to use one of these tiny flowers. This is Cajun Craze that I'm using. And I'm just building up a background paper. by just adding little bits of color. Now, a few weeks ago, I did something similar with um, the butterfly stamps, do you remember? And so many of you said that you really loved that. So that's kind of why I'm kind of bringing this in as a as a kind of background effect. Now, by stamping off, which is what I'm doing here on the side, and then stamping on, you're going to get a variation of colour. I'm going to use the crumb cake ink and my blending brush. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edges a little bit to make make the linen paper not quite so white but equally not color it too much i'm gonna actually put a bit of the pale papaya on there as well i brought the cajun craze because i thought i would probably use that more but i don't think i am going to and i'm not doing it all the way over just bits here and there so it looks looks a bit like an old piece of parchment and it's just not nothing is distinct on it it's it's all just fairly soft now it will be going on this layer here so what i do want to do is just make sure that there is enough definition around the edges and I don't think there is I think that's too soft so I'm actually gonna get some early espresso look how dark that is and just go around the edges because I want it to pop I want it to stand out from that pale papaya card and because everything I'd done was so soft it's not actually going to do that so we'll just put that in let's just see so you can see now it's got a darker tone on the edges and can you see how much now that is actually going to lift and pop? Okay. So we've got a couple of flowers. Now, if I put them on there as they are, you'll be able to see, they will stand out from that background. But what I'm going to do is, so one's leaves, and one's flowers is I'm going to color them in the same way as I did before with the blending brushes but I'm going to color them really deeply so that they really pop so got the evening evergreen and instead of you know having a really light touch with this I'm going full on colour and so you will see what will happen. So to me that looks like a botanical print. And then similarly with this, um, this is like a cornflower I think. Um, it won't be a cornflower when I finish because it's going to be pale papaya. But again, I'm making this really deep. It's 
so that it too will really stand out. Now, obviously, we've got this sentiment, but if I put that on there, it's just going to stand out because it's just so white. So I'm going to kind of treat that very similarly <laughs> to what I've been doing so far, which is putting kind of different colours on it stamping over the top of it, putting a few dots on it. So that all of a sudden, it's much softer and it's just gonna go much more in keeping with that card. So again, I want this to stand out. So I'm taking the early espresso, whoa, that was a bit dark, and I'm just going around the edges, okay? Now I definitely need to use that same early espresso ink to put my happy birthday on, that's otherwise not going to stand out. So we can do that. So that is going to lift that and you, you'll be able to see that. But it needs some pale papaya, it needs some of the orange tones. I just need that to dry a second. So I'll come back to that. So look how beautiful this is. So I'm using grid paper, but if you, you if you put a piece of basic white card underneath your working space, you would get all sorts of really cool backgrounds. So let's just add, there we go. So that's just adding a little bit of pale papaya on there. So that is going to going to work. I've got ink all over my fingers now. I'm just going to use a wet wipe and get the worst of it off. But I am aware. So now of the how clean this layer, this pale papaya card blank is. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use my blending brush and just go around the outside edge of this card. And what it's going to do is going to soften the edge with a little bit of colour. But it's going to stop it from looking too clean against this vintage style. So the other thing that I'm going to do, just clean off some of that early espresso, is get a bit of crumb cake as well. Only a tiny bit. Just to give it a little bit of extra. <laughs> Sue says she's really liking this idea. Thanks, Sue. Okay. So what you don't want to do, everybody, okay, is wipe your inky hands on your white shorts. I think I got away with it. <laughs> they might be going in the wash in a minute. <laughs> right. Let me just cover these ink pads over so that we don't get any more ink on our fingers I'll get another wet wipe for my hands and then I should be able to put this all together all right 
Now, the awesome thing about this background piece is it's adhesive. <laughs> so I don't have to stick anything on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these down first. And this is going to be an almost flat card. I am going to 3D the sentiment, but not these. So let me just pull this off. So lots of love for the vintage look. Yeah. So, and again, when you're pulling the backing off, just go carefully. This is quite delicate. And it's not so delicate that you're going to damage it, but just, you know, don't yank it. Hmm? Like that. I've got a bit stuck to my fingers. Okay. So this is what happens when you pull it too much. Right. So let's just pop that back. Pop that down. So that one's going there. Can't see because my fingers are all in the way. Right. So what's happened is I've twisted one of the leaves. There we go. Let's just lift that up and pop that down. There we go. Ta-da! Like I said, there is no right or wrong way. So when I was talking about a botanical print, do you, you, you know what I mean, kind of with the Victorian kind of ways of, of actually, you know, pressing flowers and things? That's really, to me, what this looks like. And then I'm going to put this second one here. So it just lifts, but you can see all the um elements of it right i'm just pulling that together so let's pull that up so i'm just lifting the flower off first what i'm going to do because i want the flower specifically in a certain point i'm going to pop that flower down first I know exactly where I want that to go and then I'll lift off the other leaves and then it will all just kind of pull down and of course if you want to 3d this of course you can that will that will work and then I'm going to position this where there -ish, I think and I just need some foam pads yeah so Sue's saying she can see it getting into a pickle it's as much as anything it depends how delicate your die cut is and I <laughs> Because I was busy chatting as opposed to thinking about what I was doing, I pulled too hard. So if you look at the, the stem there, basically what I did was I pulled these two leaves apart. Yeah, but if you'd, if you'd lifted off part of it and stuck it down and then done the rest of it, it would have been, it would have been much, much more straightforward. But of course, you don't have to do these um, die cuts with linen paper. You could just do it with cardstock. So what we're doing now is I have got to lift up the adhesive from here. Which is just going to take a second or two. And so I know that this is going to leave 
and even border all the way around. So as I'm sticking this down, I'm just kind of pulling it so that I know that it will sort of balance all the way around like that. Da, 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 da. You get any tiny wrinkles, just give them a bit of a squish. And does that look like a piece of fabric or a botanical print? You know, you've got you've got little wrinkly bits and frayed bits and smudgy bits. It's so cool. I love it. So I'm going to bring in the others. The other things, the other cards. I'm going to try and scoot all of this other stuff out of the way. Drop ink everywhere. Now that's wet. <laughs> oh dear. It's just one of those days today. Thank you, Margaret. She says it's beautiful. Right, I'm just drying this off now. So otherwise the card will get wet. So there's the sort of second card, or the first card that I made actually. So very similar in colours. And you I've used the linen paper. And then there's, there's the original one, look. So that one is super cool and very clean and blue. What's not to love? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'm getting lots of love for those cards. Janet's saying that she gets into a mess as well as Sue getting into a mess. I think the thing is you do need to remember that when, I, <laughs> when I'm crafting and chatting to you guys at the same time, I do get distracted. So then I'm not exactly doing what I should be doing and I'm not doing what I would be doing if I was crafting kind of on my own. So, you know, it's, it's live, isn't it? And and it's messy and you know my hands are a bit inky but i've checked my shorts have survived so i did think i had evening evergreen ink on my hand and i wiped it on my shorts to dry it off it's never a good plan never a good plan yes margaret they are all completely different aren't they same sentiment same dyes. These two have the same colours in them. So I am thrilled that you all love them. So I'm going to love you and leave you for this week. As I said, next week there will be a recording for you to, to watch. Um, I'll still be around, so if you want to send me emails and things, please do. And if you've got any questions or queries, that's what I'm here for. So do send me your emails and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Remember to use the host code so that you will get your craft along for free when your order is £40 uh, before postage. And... It's better if you place a £45 order because then you get a free celebration choice as well. And we all love free. So take care and uh, I will see you all again very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>